The ruling SP has finally split with CM Akhilesh Yadav being anointed as uh, the party president of staging his father Mulayam Singh Yadav. Frankly speaking, uh, this political hangama seems to be a well-crafted script and the order is Mulayam Singh Yadav, one of the most wily and deceptive politicians that we have in India. We had fir he had first expelled his son over the issue of distribution of tickets and a day after revoked his expulsion along with Ram Gopal Verma, his associate. Why on earth Mulayam penned such a script to first sack Achilles and then reinstate, reinstate him? The patriarch wanted to make Achilles look clean and gain public sympathy, which he succeeded as many came out on the streets in his support, uh, which forced him to revoke his suspension. Probably Mulayam has understood of building a campaign with personality being the central theme, which has worked wonders for BJP as the central theme revolves around a personality called Narendra Modi. After achieving this, what could be Mulayam's next move? His next move would be brokering an alliance with Congress or BJP because Akhilesh cannot win elections with a split party. Will SP then align ally with Congress? For now, the Patriarch has been opposing Congress SP tie-up apparently on seat sharing issue. The Congress is demanding 120 to 25 seats but the Patriarch is limiting it to 70. In the event SP and Congress tie-up tie does not materialize, then the only option left with Mulayam is to join hands with BJP prior or post elections one has to wait and watch. I for one believe if SP ties up with BJP then BSP and Congress will have no chance of survival in UP because most of the Brahmin, Yadav and also Dalit votes will fall into BJP's kitty. According to 543 survey by Praveen Patel, the Dalits and OBC are now slowly opting for BJP, which has sent jitters down the spines of all secular parties. Why I say so? The genesis of re-sanskritization of Dalits is Mayawati's 2007 election slogans of Pandit Shankh Bajayada Hati Bartha Jayaka, meaning the Brahmin shall sound the conch as elephant marches forward. And there was another slogan, Hati Nahi Ganesh Hai, Brahma Vishnu Mahesh Hai, meeting, meaning this is not just an elephant but Lord Ganesha and a symbol of the triumvirate of Hindu gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. This created a hitherto impossible social coalition of Brahmins and Jatavs in 2007 elections which Mayawati won. Eventually that led to Dalits moving towards the BJP. The Dalits of UP including a sizable sections of Jatavs were saffronized in summer of 2014 much to the chagrin of the intelligentsia as well as the media. This was not an isolated event in itself for 2014 also witnessed the formation of the united spectrum of Hindu votes for the first time in independent India's electoral history. 
It was a unique socio-political coalition of almost all the major castes of Hindus who had united together by foregoing all their internal differences which resulted in rendering minority vote bank politics utterly toothless in UP. This is the reason why, I repeat, this is the reason why the Congress and the other parties are crying fake issues of Dalit atrocities. Nevertheless, it is hard to predict the prospects of an extremely complicated state like Uttar Pradesh. Slowly but surely, the world would know the mind of the patriarch, Mulayan Singh Yadav, as and when he scripts the next chapter of this story.